this is Paul Humiller at Dream Guitars in the Western North Carolina mountains. It's a beautiful morning here. Spring's starting to spring, which is awesome. Um, this is a really sweet small guitar, double O size from um, Michael Baranek. Mike's an old friend. I've known him for years and always enjoyed his guitars. Um, this one is really kind of different and sweet. Um, first of all, it's a double O size. And it's got this beautiful um, sort of recessed area in the top, which sort of gives you a little bit more room to get around to uh, the cantilevered neck. So the neck is a little bit cantilevered on the top. Also gives it sort of a Uchida style, a really, really cool um, sort of Asian flair to it. And it doesn't stop there. There's really neat woods on this guitar. Beautiful, silky Sitka spruce top. One of my favorites. Sitka, a lot of people um, sort of dismiss it because it's a lot of the initial base wood for most builders, but it's a, it, it's, it is so because it's so great. It's a powerful, strong spruce that has a lot of warmth and clarity and sort of very complete sounding wood. So I, I love it. I personally have had guitars made for me um, out of Sitka by choice. Really enjoy it. This one's a neat short scale fan fret, so it's multi-scale. You've got 24.6 and change on the top, so nice and short, sort of like an old Gibson, and 25 on the, on the base side, so still short on the base, 25, so it plays really easy, and it's also a 13 fret neck joint. So all of that means compact, easy to play. Anybody who wants a guitar that's very ergonomic, this is one. Um, and then we get to the really sexy stuff. This is Spalted Manchinga on the back. Um, so of course, I always see the pictures. You can click on the little card here and see the pictures on the website. This is a Spalted Manchinga, very neat wood. Looks sort of like Spalted Maple, but it's Manchinga. Um, a little bit more yellow hue to it and some browns and grays in there. Really beautiful up close. And again, look at the pictures. Um, it's got a side sound port, so on the driver's seat, you hear a lot of this guitar. It feels like you're in the sound, which is really sweet. The opening chord, we had to actually fade that really early. It kept ringing and ringing and ringing, so making Greg work hard here today. But uh, let's give this one a spin. Mm -hmm. 